Carefully check all water supply connections prior to startup to ensure that they are securely attached. Hold the handpiece vertically. Attach the tip to the handpiece using the guardian wrench by aligning the threaded end of the tip to the handpiece. Depress the wrench slightly as you begin rotating to fully secure the tip to the handpiece. Rotate the guardian wrench clockwise. When you hear a click, the tip is secured to the handpiece. Remove the guardian wrench by sliding it over the secured tip. Installation is complete. Turn on the power switch on the side of the control unit. The front panel will light up. Select the appropriate power mode for your procedure with the green, blue, and orange keys on the front panel. The color of the guardian wrench indicates the appropriate power mode on the Symmetry IQ unit. For instance, select blue mode for symmetry tips in a blue guardian wrench. As certain tips have power recommendations that span two power modes, for example, blue and orange mode, please refer to the power range guide for all appropriate power settings. Set the recommended power level with the power arrows on the front panel. The light in the power display panel will indicate the selected power level. Confirm that power level is set in the appropriate range for the selected symmetry tip. Continuous pushing of the up arrow will cause the power level to increase. Likewise, continuous pushing of the down arrow will decrease the power level. When water only is desired for irrigation purposes, push the down arrow to the lowest power setting. The handpiece light will not illuminate. However, water will continue to flow. To ensure patient comfort and to extend the life of your tips, Always use the lowest effective power setting. Using a higher than recommended power setting may damage the tooth structure or the tip. Three water modes are available on the Symmetry IQ 4000 unit. Irrigation bottle, municipal water, and dry mode. Simply press the water key on the control panel, indicated by a W, to move from one option to the next. The light on the control panel under the selected source will illuminate. Once power level is adjusted to the desired range, depress the foot control to start tip vibration. The fiber optic light will illuminate. The operating light stays illuminated while the tip is vibrating. There are two water adjustment knobs, each corresponding with a water mode, as indicated by the icon adjacent to the knob. One adjustment knob controls water flow for the irrigation bottle mode, and the other adjustment knob controls water flow for municipal water mode. Rotate the appropriate water adjustment knob counterclockwise gradually to increase the water flow. To decrease water flow, rotate the water adjustment knob clockwise. Release the foot control and place the handpiece in the handpiece holder. Turn off the power switch located on the side of the unit. When the unit is shut down, the last mode settings in use are automatically retained in memory. Remove the symmetry tip with a guardian wrench. Hold the handpiece vertically. Insert the tip through the hole in the bottom of the guardian wrench. Rotate the wrench while depressing slightly to properly seat the wrench on the base of the tip. Once the wrench is securely seated on the tip, rotate the guardian wrench counterclockwise to loosen and remove the tip from the handpiece. Once removed from the handpiece, there is no need to remove the tip from the guardian. It can go through the cleaning and sterilization process in the guardian tip carrier. When you power up the control unit for the next procedure, the system will reactivate in the same configuration as when it was shut down.